mother belly gunk and you will make me stamp How will you know about gun man shit? Gonna feel it from them started Bobby Lee's paint gun in the fine for gun for medicine and your mom was How will you know about gun man shit? I'm starting my new vlog here because I just feel like I look very serious and <laughs> what better way to start? This is the best way to start this vlog. Like I look like queen of the coast. Liam is just staring at me. I'm sure the video is already up and you guys have seen my experience going to the market to do my makeup. And yeah, I'm about to take everything off now. Welcome to a new vlog. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys are having a lovely week. This is going to be the Valentine's week vlog. It's not like anything is happening but I just said to call it that so... This is basically what I'll be doing all week. Today is Tuesday. No, today is Monday. Tomorrow is Valentine's Tuesday. So I decided to start my weekly vlog here so I can vlog the whole week. And this was what I was up to today, Monday. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please show the video some love. Like, share, comment, all of that. Like, just show the video some love. It was fun doing, but at the same time, it was very tricky. And I really appreciate you guys showing all the love you can possibly show that video. Okay? Okay. So let me take this makeup off and I'll, I'll see you guys when I take this makeup off. Because the fact that I haven't been carrying it for this long is not even the best for my skin. But yeah. I'm about to shower now. And I'll see you guys when I'm done. Okay? She just wanna dance and tease me. She just wanna dance and tease me. She just wanna dance and Just apply my face oil. My face feels like I am back to being myself. God damn it, guys. You have no idea. Even those that do like proper full blown professional makeup just feels like you're wearing another face it's too much maybe because i do my makeup myself i don't really have i don't really layer a lot of product on my face normally so when people lay a lot of products on your face it just feels like you're wearing another face but i feel so good now and i feel like i'm back to myself guys as you guys are seeing me like this you might think i'm okay you might think i'm fine but i just had a very heated argument with one of my nannies but then again what is new but it hasn't been this bad before. These nannies can bring out the worst in you. But I decided to share this whole story with you, with you guys. And let me know your own opinion. Because you know me now. I must bring you guys my nanny stories. Because I don't think it will ever end. It's, it's unending. So basically the gist for today. <laughs> hey God. Oh, Jesus Christ. These people. Like it got so bad that I had to leave the room. Because if there's one thing I always say. I am not going to beat my nannies. I am not going to lay finger on them or anything. I'm not going to lay any fingers on them. I'm not going to beat them. I'm not going to be, you know, violent with them. I will shout from today to tomorrow. I'll hit the wall, hit the door, hit another thing. But I'm not going to hit them. This evening, I was here in the room just typing, doing stuff. Then, I just kept on hearing Sage crying. Like I always say, I know when he's being mysterious. And the camera was on, so I noticed that they were feeding him. And anytime they feed him when he's eating dinner... I know he's usually mischievous. It'd be like he doesn't want to eat or he doesn't like the vegetables in the food and all of that. So I would hear him cry. I'll just be like, mm, this is no more mischief now. It's no more sage, nothing serious. And because I was a bit distracted, because I was, like I said, I was typing and doing stuff. So my mind wasn't there. But I was typing and I cried loudly. Like, ah, ah. I was not like, sorry, one second. Sorry about that. So, like I said, I don't had a, a different kind of cry. Like, sorry to be sure my i'm not i'm not <laughs> i'm not exposing my boobs anyways and i heard that loud cry that's when it now got my attention i was like wait till it's there from small small then loud cry i looked at the camera it's almost like he stopped and i stare hearing that's the nanny because i have one that takes care of sage and one that takes care of liam the one taking care of liam was carrying liam i think like they were just playing they were in a different place so it was just the one that was taking care of sage and sage and i stare hearing her shouts and saying things like eat your food eat your food that you should feed yourself feed yourself 
um, that he should learn how to feed himself. Sage knows how to feed himself, but obviously, like the convenience of someone feeding him. I know it can be quite annoying sometimes if you don't have the patience because you'll try to feed him, he'll be acting up and everything. But she was shouting, saying, she was not saying, she was like, feed yourself, you should learn how to feed yourself. And I think the other nanny, sorry, I think the other nanny was trying to feed him. But she was not telling the nanny, leave him, leave him, let him feed himself. Every time, that's what he always does. He needs to feed himself. Da, da, da. So I still ignored it. I was like, I know how annoying Sage can be, shall let me see if that will work for him. Maybe he'll feed himself. He cried again. I said, no. That's when I now stood up. And now run, right, rushed to the room. That's how I opened the door. What did I see? She was actually holding a cane. I was not seeing it in the camera because the way they were facing, like, she was backing him. And it's as if she was not using the cane constantly. Like, the cane was be beside her. So that, that him crying is him, her using the cane to hit him. Then when he stops, when she, when he stops crying, she'll keep the cane back. So I didn't notice it that first time I looked because, like I said, I was, I was distracted. My mind wasn't there fully. So then I had the second one and I'm just rushing without even knowing what's happening. I was let me know why he's even crying. So I rushed open the door and I caught her in the process of tapping him. Not like she was flogging him or anything. But the fact that she held the cane and was tapping, like tapping his hand, like it's your food or something. I ran mad. Sorry guys, my battery actually just died. Like <laughs> it just did like film. It just died. Anyway, so what was I saying? I think last night I said was that I actually ran mad. Did, did my, no, when you're just, I was confused for a second. I was like, I like what them, um, what are you doing holding a cane? Like that was even the first question. Like why is it? Why is there a cane in this room? Like why are you holding a cane? Like why are you even holding it? Why is he here? Because I am the only one that has access to that cane. Like everybody in this house knows. Like um, <laughs> I'm the only one that's allowed to use a cane. Do you understand? Like so, my man, I was like. Why is he even in this room? Like, I didn't ask you to bring the cane. Like, why is he even here? She was not like, that, this is the one that killed me finally. My dad's the only way Sage eats. <laughs> People, I'm doing 90 days challenge. I wear a mommy. I don't have the strength that I would usually have. It's the way she was responding to me. Ma, it's only when you bring cane. That's what when he listens. I don't know how she put the statement, but basically that it's only when you bring cane then he'll listen to you or that he'll eat or that he'll do what you ask him to do. The knot in my head loosened. Come and now see me. The other, the other um, nanny didn't expect it. I started shouting. I said, for what? Have I ever, since you stay walking here, because that one has walked here for going to two years, oh, actually, funny enough, going to two years. I'm like, have I ever, in the history of us working together, have I ever lifted my hands to touch you or lifted any object or cane or anything, no matter how much you've made me mad or angry? Have you ever seen me even pushing you like out of anger? Let me push you. When you said I walk here, what is my standard procedure? You no, know, list it for me. What is the one thing that I, I voice over and over again? That nobody has the rights absolutely nobody i know how annoying toddlers can be i know how annoying children can be but you have no rights to touch my children true or false did i say it or did i not say it Ma, i know you said it but i'm telling you that even this one this one this one that's the only way if you tell him he won't listen to you but i was like wait though i am in this house not like i'm not at home in fact that's when my head started going everywhere i was like wait though, so that what happens when i'm not at home what happens when i'm not at home like it had to start from a stage like i had to get from Okay, getting the cane to threaten him without using it on him before it got to the point of tapping. Because from tapping, it's now go to flogging, then it's now go to wounding and injuring. Like it's it staged, like it can't just start from one place. Do you understand? So that's when my head now started going. So I was like, wait, 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 wait. When did this one even start? She's now trying to, start, trying to defend herself. That man, I don't, I don't beat him. I said, nobody's asking you if you beat him. I said, when did this start for you to feel like it's okay to go and even touch the cane where I usually keep the cane? Like, when when did you start even going there to collect the cane without me asking you to bring the cane? She was just talking back. It's just the way she was talking back. And I started screaming. I shot eh? I said I shot at her so the other nanny, like I said, was so scared. She was now begging me. I was shouting because what even increased me shouting was that as I was asking her these questions, the way she was responding, the way she was talking back at me, and the way she was eyeing me, like she was looking at me like head to toe, like like no one's when you're talking and someone's looking at you like huh. <laughs> Hey, Jesus, Jesus. I really, I said I shouted so they, I felt myself. You know when you, like, the way you're like Hulk. 
the Incredible Hulk, I felt myself turning green. I'm not even joking. Like, I felt myself turning to the Hulk, about to tear my clothes. Bruh, I'm living on vegetables. Like, but I felt myself turning to the Hulk, like my clothes tearing to pounce on this girl. Like, knowing you're like, when it feels like the emotions has cleared from your eyes and you just pounce on her like a beast, the later the emotions will come back. That, that was where I was headed. Guys, I literally had to leave the room because it wouldn't, it wouldn't be a case of, oh, you pushed her or you slapped her. It would have been a case of, like, I'll injure her. I would have injured her. No, 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 no. no. Like, no, no, no. She would have been bruised. <laughs> if I actually let it get there, no, it would be a thing of, I don't think I'm making this video. I think we'll probably be in the hospital or police station. I don't know where we're going to be, but it wouldn't be a case of, oh, you beat her, you slapped her. No, no. With the way I was fuming, because number one, you did something unimaginable, something I've won the games from the time you started working here, something I don't do to you. And I know how hard it is not to do it to you. So it's not like it's easy breezy because you're so annoying. These nannies can get on your last nerves. So it's like it's something I fight not to do. I don't tap you. I don't jokingly play with you and be beat. No, no, no. I don't do it because I've told myself, come on, you will go home. Instead, you leave this house. So for you to not do it, I now caught you doing it. Red handed. It's not like they were giving me gist or whatever. Like I entered the room and I caught you doing it. And you're talking to me like that, trying to justify what you've done. I literally left the room and banged the door. That, that door didn't fall down because I used the anger to bang the door. I was I was expecting the door to actually fall down behind me. That that door did not fall down. It was very anticlimactic. Anti or I don't know how to put the English, but it didn't fall the way I imagined it was going to fall. Because I used my last anger and force to bang that door. I just had to leave mid-argument. Like, no, I shot at someone. I, like, I, don't, I don't think I completed the last statement I wanted to complete. Like these people, they bring out something in you that I just walked out of the room and just came back to just breathe. Like I literally had to go to just come, like. <laughs> and you know, and that Nana killed my profit. Wait now, wait now. Like I said, I came to just breathe. I was not looking at the camera. Do you know as I left? The other Nani was still begging her, like, calm down, like, don't be talking to Madame like that now. Da, 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 da. And she was still explaining, you know, she was still defending herself. That you know that this house is... I turned off the TV first. I was like... Hmm. Hmm. When I was done breathing for like five minutes, I went back to the room. I just carried Sage out of the room. So that to bring the food. Let me feed Sage. Finish feeding Sage. Did the homework with Sage and did everything I was meant to do with Sage. When I was done doing the assignment. By then, that was enough time for me to like really calm down to a point where... I wasn't feeling like the Hulk again. So I just wanted to go to bed because he has school tomorrow. So there was no time to involve him because it was really late, basically. It's, it's really late now. It's probably like 11 or so. Like, it was actually late. So I just wanted to just focus on doing that. He has already had a shower. I just fed him, gave him everything. He was better to do, did everything. Told her that I need to send him to bed. She just pee and go to bed. So when I made sure that he has gone to bed, I now called Danani. So now start from beginning again to ask her, please, when did this one start? Because I want to know. Like, forget the shouting part. Now I'm asking, I want to know when it started. So, because I'm confused. I don't know when this whole thing started. Before, before this time, earlier today or yesterday, she told me she was having chest pain. I don't know if it's chest infection or whatever. She went to hospital. The result, I don't know, so we don't know what the issue, the issue is. But she said her chest is pain. It's doing her like it's burning. And that's happening for like a week. That her heart is burning. Why won't her heart burn? Why won't your heart burn when you're acting like you're in hellfire? when you're acting like devil himself anyways that's besides the point that her heart has been burning so i sent her to the hospital to, to, i sent her to the hospital today because she just told me she told me yesterday so she went to the hospital today to go and do tests so i'm waiting for the result i don't know what it is anyways so i'm saying all of this because to make sense so she now came out not asking her questions like when did this start on to know and today answer me she was standing here and there's one thing they know about me now in this house not just in this house even in my office or anywhere if i have a staff and i ask you a question i decide to ignore me both of us will die there <laughs> We would, if that's the worst thing you can do to me, I'm asking you a question and you don't answer me. Like, you'll be like, oh, why did you do this? Or when did you take this? Or when did this happen? You now be quiet. All of us now be quiet. That's what she now wanted to come and form here. She does it a lot, but maybe it will last for like three minutes, four minutes, five minutes. But today's going to last for almost 20 minutes or 30 minutes. I said today, she doesn't even know. <laughs> she done not know. I sat down, put on Big Brother. I was watching Big Brother. I was doing my editing. I was just relaxing. I was like, today. I, I have time to be petty. She was standing there. Simple question I asked her. Simple question. I didn't, I didn't ask anything out of ordinary. When did you start collecting the cane from where it was? Came, she closed her mouth. All of us, we closed our mouth. We were there. Wait, though. What, something funny just actually happened now. See this bumble cloud, though. 
I think she has gone to pack her bag to go. I have a time, like I tell you, I, like I tell you guys every time, this story is always, it's never an ending. We'll continue, the gist to continue being there. I'm about to shock her. It shock you, I'm about to shock her. She just came out to ask me if our guys are around. But she looked like she was dressed. I didn't even ask any question. Anyways, let me finish my story. So, she was now quiet for 30 minutes. So I was, like I said, I was doing what I was doing, pressing my phone, watching Big Brother. Da, 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 da. That's how she last day crying. I was like, why are you crying? Like, where, where did they come from? Why are you crying? My chest is paining me. My chest is paining me. I've been standing for so long. I've been standing for so long. I told him my chest was paining me. Yeah. <laughs> I can't breathe. Your chest is paining me because it's sad for you to stand that long. I'm not the one that's punishing you. I didn't call you here to come and stand for that long. I asked you a question. You're the one that said to take the whole day to answer the question. It is not my fault. It's not my doing. If it's paining you, sit down. But you're going to answer my question because I need to know. So I'll keep it somewhere to know when you start beating my child. So I'll know when it started, how long it has been lasting for. You understand? She now said, No, I don't remember. It's not like I beat him. I have no reason to beat Sage. I don't beat him. Blah, 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 up and down. I don't do this. I don't do that. Blah, 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 blah. I said, That's not what I asked you. Ma, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If I said, That's not what I asked you, I don't know if you're sorry to do anything. Like, your sorry is so irrelevant to me. It's not going to do anything for my life. I'm not using to do anything. I'm asking you a single question. When did it start? That's so how we finished going back and forth, back and forth, though. And she cannot remember when it started. And uh, how this is the first time that she's using to tap him. But I normally she'll carry it and just be threatening him so he can do something, eat or shower or do whatever it is. As I finished warning her and everything, you know, and shouting and all of that. I thought, never try that. Never raise your voice. Never look at me like that. Like, don't ever, you're not doing me a favor. I'm paying you. And don't you ever in your life go and pick up a cane and say you want to use that and make him eat. Don't you ever try it in your life because there's someone else working for it. It won't be the same story. And the only reason I'm doing what I'm doing now because I know how difficult it is to find that. It's not because she did me a favor, but I must find another before she leaves. So you cannot inconvenience me like that. No, no, no. Even if she's going to leave, no problem. I'm not holding anybody captive, but I'm going to find another nanny before she leaves. So I told her, anyway, I'm done with you. You can go. Maybe she thought when I mean you can go is that she can leave the house. So I'll get back to you for when the whole story unfolds. Let us wait for her to come back. Let's see what she's about to do. It goes short come, like I said. She'll wait till I find the dinner. Honey. I'll be back. Hi. Hi, booze. Valentine is coming. It's actually here. Today is the 14th of February. <laughs> so what am I speaking? Today is the 14th of February. And I'm sure this is the day a lot of people have been looking forward to. Happy Valentine's Day. All my love to you. I love you. I love you. I love you. If you don't have any boo, just know that I am your boo. I am the boo. To the bullets or the bull of the bullets, anyhow you want to put it. I am here for you. I love you. Happy Valentine's Day. If I had known your address, I'd have sent you flowers. But well, it's all your fault. You didn't give me your address, so I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, good afternoon. Actually, good morning. I'm actually proud of myself. I woke up early today. As you can see, I'm getting ready to head out. I have a few errands to run. I know I've been saying errands, 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 but I have a few things I'm doing and some things that I'm working on at the same time. So I've been up and down doing stuff yeah that's it but yeah that's what i'm doing today just running some errands i know the last clip you guys saw was me complaining about my nanny and you were like okay so what happened <laughs> nothing happened though hmm. i was not sure she was looking for a guy that's my husband to come back last night he came back i even called him before he came back i was like they're looking for you why he now said no that he called her earlier to tell her to tell the cook to make food for him so that's why she was asking if he was back so she can bring the food so actually nothing nothing serious she dressed up the way she dressed up because like i explained to you guys she has chest pain and heartburn and all of that so i think they told her in the hospital to avoid like cold and all of that so she dressed up she wore jacket she wore hoodie like she was about to leave the house but i think it was just to cover herself so false alarm nothing actually happened she's not going anywhere and she can't even be going anywhere because you guys already know my system of payment so i don't think she would have just waited for god to come it's not a guy that's holding her money so actually thinking of it now it didn't make sense. So she's not, she didn't go anywhere. She's still going about her normal duties. <laughs> so when my husband came back, he talked to her again. And the honest truth, eh? The honest truth. I don't think both my shout or my husband's talk, I don't think it, it changes anything. So I was just thinking to myself yesterday. Because like I said, now I have just two nannies. But I think I want to employ a third nanny. That was a point in my life I had three. And I think I want to go back to that. I want to get three nannies so that 
even if I'm even if they're not going to be three forever but let me just not always feel like I have to be calculating ah should this one go like even if they're disrespecting you still be thinking to yourself ah can this person go if this person goes now who you know who will replace the person but I feel like when they're three the insults are reduced more because they know that they have their replacements waiting for them already so I think I should still even if I'm not going to fire her even if I'm not going to fire her immediately but I should find a replacement now. This is the perfect time to find a replacement. Let the replacement be learning from her, learning things she's meant to learn. And let the replacement just be there in the corner. You understand? So that in case anybody wants to move mad, I replace immediately. Or oh, see, if I had the liberty, if this house was big enough, God knows I'll have like five nannies on. As in, let them just be plenty, no problem. They'll have like their staff quarters. Like if I had all these massive houses, I'll have staff quarters. All of them will be staying there. <laughs> because... I don't know. I really don't know. There's no solution to it though. There's no rule book. There's no guide. If you like, be nice. If you like, be wicked. There's really nothing. In fact, I even heard that the more wicked you are, the longer they tend to stay. So all of us that are here for me, nice, nice madams, doing everything you want us to do for you. I don't know. Maybe it works for some people, but I really honestly do not know. I don't know where these people, they come from. I blame my agents because it's not like they're coming from the village or someone you know or like a family member or whatever it's just these agents i know these agents they don't even um they don't do background checks on them they just literally tell them oh there's a job they'll just start going even if they've done any work before whatever they just it's like they rotate themselves it's the same thing so honestly i don't even think any of them want to be here it's like they have a time stamp and once it gets to that time they start acting like if they don't go now something is going to happen so that's i've come to just realize like I said, this particular one, that's what is actually sad. She has stayed here for a while. She has stayed here for a while. So why she's moving mad like this? And it's not just this particular instance. There are other instances too where she has done things where I'm like, starting when? So uh, it's too much familiarity. Too much familiarity. You know. But I'm not that kind of person. Actually, at this moment, the way things are, that will act on impulse. Oh, leave the house, blah, blah, blah. blah. I'll talk to you. I'll shout on you. A lot of us will still sit down here and still be doing what we're meant to do. <laughs> I think I'll just do the third one. Just in case. Maybe she don't get to a point where she wants to slap me. Since she's not raising her voice back at me and talking to me and eyeing me, looking at me up and down. That's step one. Step two, now maybe her slapping me. So at least when that time comes, where she now wants to slap me, I know that I can now easily say, oh yeah, leave my house, let me get someone else. So, anyways, I'm ready to head out. These days, Makeup has been the last thing on my mind. So long as I have my sunglasses, I am good to go. I'm wearing this dress from Ziggy Fashion House. It's from an old collection. So it's definitely not available. But in case you're wondering what it's like, it's like a maxi dress with two slits in front, long sleeves, fitted on the waist, and like an A-line cut. So yeah, that's what it will look like. Oh, my earrings. I'm going to be wearing these earrings from Zara. So just something... Not too big, but at the same time, not too understated. I think it's perfect. Yeah, I think it's perfect. I'll be wearing these. I'm a bit late, though. Not too late. My appointment is for 1, and it's currently 12. So let me just rush and head there now. So by the time I get there, it's be around 12.30 or so. But well, yeah, this is what I'm looking like. And I'll see you guys perfume. I think I sprayed my perfume already. I think I sprayed just one. You know the drill. We gotta do two. Um, let us mix a match with what? Let me mix a match with this Byredo Black Saffron. I don't know if you guys saw the first one I sprayed. I'll show you guys. So you put all my perfume of the day is. But yeah, this is the second one. Black Saffron. First one was this Bulgari. If I tell you not the name of this perfume, I really don't know. I know it's Bulgari. And this is what it looks like. It's in this orange and teal bottle but i don't know the name of the perfume so we're good to go as you can see i didn't wake up to roses bouquets cake chocolate all those things on the floor i am on the category i am under the category of safe finish so there's nothing to show there but i'm good with that i'm okay with it like how do i put it see we have other we have bigger fish to fry let's just put it that way we have bigger fish to fry. we have bigger fish to fry but yeah if there's any other thing that's going to come up today i'm going to keep you guys updated but as of now like i said i woke up i didn't wake up to flowers card nothing so 
no update there i'm not doing i'm not going to pepe hippo there's nothing to pepe hippo with you know i'm just chilling just like every normal day like i said i have errands to run so yeah i'll see you guys when i'm done okay peace out well what my valentine's day is looking like so far traffic i have been in this traffic for an hour now like i don't even know where to start from people are frustrated and there's nothing causing the traffic i think it's all this nonsense road safety people they are all over the place i don't know where they came out from today like they're everywhere stopping cars pushing them to the side like there's no reason for this traffic this is just two no three, this is three in the afternoon like there's no reason for this traffic by this time of the day absolutely no reason but i've been stuck here since two and this is after three i am still here guys look what i found i'm so excited god do you know how much i miss roasted corn that is my best season i don't think this is the season so only god knows where they got this corn from but bruh i had to stop and get it like i'm so excited i've not had anything all day and this is like the best way to start it i got flowers i guess for valentine's yep roses <laughs> i'm sure people can hear from the sound of my voice like Ikegum. I'm tired. I've been sleeping all day. But yeah, while I was sleeping, my husband gave me roses. He said he had plans for dinner, but I was just tired. I was sleeping, so we didn't make dinner. And to be honest, there was nothing I was going for dinner to go and eat. You guys know I am on my 90 days challenge. So I could not drink. I could not eat. So really nothing happened. I just accepted the flowers and continued sleeping. And yeah. Wanted to update you guys so you guys will know how my day went. But yeah. How did your own Valentine's Day go? Like, this is what I look like. I look like a crazy woman. I was sleeping. I ha I finished eating that corn. I couldn't even finish the two of them. I just had one. And I got so full. And I was so sleepy and so tired. Like, the way I slept off, it wasn't even funny. Hi. Hi, booze. How are you guys doing? Today's the next day and I'm sorry I'm starting this part of today's vlog very late because I've actually spent the whole day editing and making sure I get that video out today. So yeah, the video is live. Guys, please support me. Support your girl. I'm going to link it below, like I said earlier, but I'm still going to link it below this video. That is my worst makeup review. Worst makeup ever. Whatever it is, but you guys know, basically the video before this video. Please support your girl. Follow, sorry, subscribe, like, share, all of that to that video. Please let us push it. And please subscribe to my channel, Road to 3K. Very important to me. Please, guys. But anyways, I am very excited. The feedback I've gotten so far feels good. I'm happy. It was all fun and games. It was just cruise. I didn't even take anything seriously. And the editing it was a bit tough for me because... I had to add a lot of things that I usually don't add in my videos. I had to do voiceovers. I had to get some sound effects. Just all of that. So, and like I said, I didn't finish yesterday. So I had to finish today. So that's why, you know, the whole day I was occupied. But I am ready. I'm wearing this booboo from Ziggy Fashion House. I'll put a picture so you guys will see what it looks like. But I'm about to head out. Before we go, I decided to show you guys my package. Remember I told you guys that I have a package coming in today that is going to be like my pre-birthday gift. So this is like part one. I don't know what part two is. But this is my birthday gift from myself to myself because... I like spoiling myself <laughs> so the package is finally here shout out to his personal shopper she's the one that sourced these items for me so let's just go ahead and unbox them okay okay i already went ahead and took them out of the package that it comes with like the the is it gig or dhl like the package it comes with so these are just the boxes let me start from the smaller ones i just ordered two items and they came it's almost like they came for Valentine's, but actually what I had in mind was for my birthday. But yeah, this is the first item, as always. Guys, I'm sure you guys have been wondering, long time, no sunglasses unboxing. But your girl is back. <laughs> I'm back to unboxing sunglasses. So the first one is from Tom Ford. Let's open it. I have wanted... Let's see, I now sound like a broken record. Because I feel like anytime I'm unboxing something, what's the first thing that comes out of my mouth? I have always wanted to have this. I have always wanted to get this. I don't have anything like this in my collection. So let's just skip that part. Let's just forget about it because it's almost like a default setting for me now. So yeah, basically back to the sunglasses. This is what the pouch inside looks like. Says Tom Ford. You open it and the sunglasses are here. This is what they look like. So they're this yellow. It has this yellow tint for the lens and this tortoise 
shell thing for the the handle handle hand and these things here that open like this so they open like this to the side i feel that's so cool so vintage like it reminds me of old school get back to being clear get back to being clear i was dark yeah it reminds me of this old school vintage look Ooh, guys i love them i love them like you know the vibes already love them so so much so these are the first item i got okay let's open the second one second item is something i am super excited about like anytime you see an orange box like you know it has to be something good this particular footwear it was so difficult to get like it was actually i used actually use different personal shoppers and it took them weeks or even months because i even tried since last year to get this particular color this particular colorway it was very difficult since last year so i just spread it across all my personal shoppers as by whosoever gets it first i'll go with them and his came through so yes i'm so excited for this let me unbox it sorry i'm just removing you guys are not saying but i'm just removing the ribbon oh smells like smells like leather you know when you get new leather let me just remove it from the dust bag i feel like my hand was getting too full so it comes in this dust bag like this. and <sighs> anyways and to be quite honest with you i'm never going to bother pronouncing the name of this sandals because i embarrassed myself full time when i traveled to america and i was like let me even try my luck and know if they have it in store i went to the ms store and i was like do you have the chipri <laughs> the chipri sandals are looking at me like huh i was like the chipri the name will be on the screen so you see how i'm not like that wrong like that as a village girl that i am am i that wrong if you see that word what will you pronounce it as it's not chipri chipri Ch basically she pronounced it in a whole and in a whole nother way so i really don't know the correct pronunciation i've forgotten how she pronounced it but all i know and all i can remember is the fact that i was wrong so the name of the sandals will be on the screen basically i just called these the that sandal of emma's so i've told you guys how much i love big ugly looking chunky footwear and i just had to add this to my collection i already showed you guys my chanel that sandal with one of my luxury unboxing and ever since then i have been looking for these ones and these ones are way cheaper chanel people they're just mad though they're really mad these ones are way cheaper than the other like the chanel ones and to me i feel like these ones are even classier this is it just me i don't know but i wanted this color i wanted this tan because the chanel one is black in color so i wanted something that wasn't black so that's why it was difficult to get this i think they call this gold i don't know if this is gold but yeah basically this is tan and black and this is what it looks like let me remove them from there let me remove the paper from the slipper so you can see it well so this is what they look like and i got mine in a 42 because i'm usually a 41 but they said reduce issue size up so i got in a 42 just in case you're wondering so this is what they look like i'm so excited to rock them they really they really do smell like as a new leather like like a car, you know when you buy a new car, that new leather smell. I love them so, so much. I'm so excited to add this to my collection. Let me try them on far because I'm excited. It's not my size. So, ah, let's see if it is our size. Perfect. Perfect. It is our size. It is very comfortable. And it's so cute on the feet. Like, it's actually so cute. So, yeah, this is what they look like. And like I said, this is part one of my birthday gift from myself to myself. I'm open to gifts. I'm open to gifts. Like I said, my birthday <laughs> is coming up on the 14th of March. I'm open to receiving gifts. So yeah, if you want to send me gifts, let me know. I love gifts giving. Gifts receiving. I love giving gifts and I love receiving gifts. So yes, that's it. And I think we're done with the unboxing. And I'll see you guys when we get to the restaurant. I don't even know where we're going to. I think I'll take my camera along with me and just do a little bit of vlogging when we get there. So yas, see y'all, catch y'all later. Bye. Guys, this place is very dark and a lot is going on here. I'm using my phone light so you guys can see my face. Anyways, we're here, ready to eat dinner. <laughs> I ordered a bunch of nonsense. So let's see what they look like when it comes. Well, it's an outdoor city, so a lot of things are happening. Cars are parking, cars are driving by. So hope you can hear me but yeah see ya guys we have the hot and sour soup and it's mushroom based right 
So you're happy with your spring rolls? How do you feel? I'm so happy. happy. <laughs> And I'm having this fruit punch. You told me it's fresh fruits, watermelon, orange. Hopefully, it's really fresh fruits. It tastes like fresh fruits. Yeah. Hi, booze. How are you guys doing? I feel like trying to get as much lighting as possible. I feel like the lighting in this car can be a bit door or dark I'm trying to look at myself in the view for windows hey booze how are you guys doing today is a new day and i am heading out to drop the kids i'm waiting for them to come downstairs but i want to drop the kids to go and play with their cousins and then i'll go and get my pedicure it's almost like a pamper day if you want to call it that i want to get my pedicure done and then get a massage as well i'm trying a new place for the massage i had a vlog where i tried getting a massage for the first time in nigeria that was my first time ever getting a massage here and I tried a different spa and I didn't really like the experience so I want to try a different spa today and see they said that the people here are Asian people so I know they're good with massages so I'll see how that one goes but that's not what I want to do today because guys my shoulders my shoulders are on fire I need to get a massage like ASAP like please recommend other spas recommend other spas for me because I, I don't mind trying different spas I need to start doing this more often like it should be like a regular thing maybe every week <laughs> because my body is just aching like it is so bad and it's been so long so yeah actually the last time the video I'm going to link below that was the last time I actually got a massage so that's how due it is this was last year I think beginning of last year so I am so due for a massage I don't even know why I don't know why <sighs> anyways yeah, so that's what I'm going to be doing today. Drop the kids off, get my pedicure done at the beauty cave, and then I'll do my um, massage. I don't know the name of the spa. I have to get the name, and I think that's really it for today. I think that's really it. But yeah, come along with me as always. Let's go. Let me wait for the kids to come, and then we shall bounce. See ya. Lot of way twist and turn, twist and turn, yeah. Your body drive me crazy. Your body need a license fee. Got your body at the tight and ease. Anybody who got eyes can see. She just wanna dance and tease. She just wanna dance and tease me. Yeah, I bought your lot. She just wanna dance and tease me. She just wanna dance and tease me. She just wanna dance and tease me. Yeah. Back home, a lot happened today, guys. Actually, um, I did not vlog the beginning of the spa or anything because as soon as I was done with my pedicure, it was so like I was so late. My appointment was by four. I think I finished my pedicure around four thirty or so. So I was actually rushing to meet up at my appointment. So I just could not be vlogging while I was like late. So that's why I vlogged when I was done. Yes, let me review, guys. I usually avoid deep tissue massages like when it's painful but it was so painful it was an asian woman that did the massage but even when i was complaining like ouch ouch it's painful it's hurting she'd be like sorry but she was just going in it was so painful and there was no relief afterwards i was just like this was not what i asked for like what's happening here hmm. so it, that's the thing i can think of i feel like even now my body is still hurting me and she kept on saying tension that she feels tension on my body tension tension so strong so i'm um, not strong i'm so tense so tense so tense she kept on trying to i'm like there's nothing oh god like it was it was a lot it was a lot but yeah that was it i didn't feel any kind of i didn't feel relaxed it definitely wasn't a relaxing massage at some point she was just hitting my back dude i was like did you see me somewhere i've been stressed this week now i feel like i need a massage for this massage like i need a relaxing soothing like normally with massages i sleep off but imagine when I was awake, like, if I, I think at, a, at some point, one teardrop fell off. Like, really, I'm not joking. I could not sleep. I just kept on doing. Like, what's all that? Why are you climbing my body? What, like, what's going on? Are we fighting? Anyways, that was a review of the place. I can't remember the name of the place. It was my husband that told me about the place. But yeah, it was just there. The interior was just there. It was just there. It was just there. I don't know how to put it. So it's just there. Papa, sorry. Bless you. Bless you. There's something in the air. Everyone just has cough and it's just annoying. Sorry, baby. Sorry. He's sage is somewhere. You want them to see your face? 
Let me carry you so they'll see your face in case they're wondering who I'm talking to. <laughs> He's angry. <laughs> He's angry. He's here looking for my attention. Papa, I'll come and talk to you soon, okay? No! When do you want me to talk to you? I should talk to you now. So, um, what's the point of all of this? Anyways, guys, so yeah, I'm going to be ending the vlog here. Hope you guys enjoyed this weekly vlog and we're going to start a new vlog soon. I'll see you guys as always. Take care. Bye.